He was so bad as a boy, he could have ended up in jail. That's the confession of veteran Barbadian gospel singer Joseph Niles. But the downhill course in his earlier life was dramatically changed through an accident. It was the noise emanating from a Pentecostal church that attracted Niles. Niles, who could now be considered an international gospel artist, found himself standing by the door of the church. He ended up at the sacred altar where he was converted to Christianity. I became a Christian in 1955 and by 1956 when I was in the church choir because as a young Christian in those days I got very active. Right away I got into everything. As a matter of fact if you came to my church in those days you want the only thing I didn't used to want to do is to preach because I couldn't preach. I used to be doing everything. I used to even sweep the church. I used to I want to be there involving everything and but there were other young people, lots of young people came in, but almost everybody wanted to preach. And I realized, I tried it too, but I realized I can't remember. I have a good sermon until I stand up, and when I stand up to deliver it, I could, all I could say is hello and, and goodbye, because I can't remember the in-between. So I know that was not for me. <laughs> This train is a holy train. Uh -huh. This train is a holy train. Alright. This train is a holy train. Everybody ready to in Jesus' name. This train. This train. Okay. Why don't you swing down, sweet chariot stopper? Let me ride. Swing down, sweet chariot stopper. Let me ride. After leaving school, Niles' first job was that of a porter at the Barbados Hardware, and in 1969, he changed that status to one of a conductor with the transport board. By this time, Joseph Niles had already released six record singles. Soon after, he quit being a conductor and became a professional gospel artist, seeing himself not as an entertainer, but a messenger of God's word. My role is not only to sing and to make people happy, but my role is to like bring people to the Lord. Today, Joseph has approximately 200 recorded songs, more than any other Barbadian gospel artist, and is still very much a singer in demand. Whether you like his style or not, Niles has put Barbados on the map in this field more so than any of his colleagues in Barbados. I have a ticket in my hand. I'm going to beautiful land Sometimes I weep and sometimes the moon But I'm bound for glory and I'm going on He's sweet I know He's sweet I know Dark clouds may rise and strong winds may blow I'll tell the world wherever I go I found a savior and he I know, he's sweet I know, he's sweet I know, dark clouds may rise and strong winds may blow, I'll tell the world wherever I go, I found a savior and he's sweet I know, if I had the wings like a dove, if I had the wings like a dove, Oh, my God. 
Mission, Joseph Nile's style of traditional syncopated church music in the Negro spiritual mode with a predominance of rhythm has been scorned by many of his Bajan counterparts. When I started to sing, they would tell me, look, you know, that's not the way it's done. And even though I was a young man, just 15, going on 16, and I didn't have the experience, it had to have been God because when, when people in authority would tell me I'm doing the wrong thing, I would still do it for the more. In other words, when somebody tell me, look, Joseph, you are spoiling the song. Because, you know, as, as in those days, not being a songwriter, you listen to all the songs that you hear and you sing them. Then I sing them differently. The music took a long, long, long time to, to get into even the churches. But I never give up. I never, ever give up. The, even, even today, if you look back at the churches, a few years ago, I met a pastor in the Virgin Islands. And he told me, Joseph, I remember when you came to St. Thomas in the middle 60s, I could not have invited you to my church. He said, but if you come to my church now, I think my music will make your music sound like a, like a, like a Sunday school boy. The changes, the changes come. I will drift away on life's pitiless sea When the angry was trapped through. My ruin could be when I lay at my side. They plainly described it was the old ship of Zion, and loudly I cried. Ship of heart, ship of heart, and loudly I cried. Ship of it was the old ship of Zion Sailing along All aboard seemed so joyous I heard the sweet song The captain's kind air Ever ready to hear Caught my wail of distress As I cried out in pain Ship of heart And with tender compassion, he took me on board. Now I'm happy today, all my sins washed away in the blood of my Savior. And now I can say, let me hear everybody. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. About 98% of Niles' musical work is not original. Most, a mere resurrection of traditional church songs and choruses interjected with Nilesitis, the coin of word, that is the inimitable rhythmic style of Joseph Niles, whose voice makes this kind of music even more personal and special. That voice, of course, being falsetto. Joe, as he is affectionately called, is better known for his contribution with the consolers the group he founded and nurtured for 15 years. My reason for forming a band was so I can get have material. We were doing so well as a group that other musicians would, would want to become a consoler because those guys are doing so good, they're making lots of money. And from the time in 1976, I made the mistake of taking my group to the United States and lost two. Two of my members decided they liked the United States better. And so I was minus two. So it means that I had to start recruiting. And anytime, and I would like anybody to take this as a warning, anytime you start to recruit new members, you're looking for real trouble. So from 1976, I began to have problems by recruiting new members. 
and uh, that's when I decided that was it. A matter of fact, in 1976 is when I, you know, first started to visit, do a lot of traveling. And then I realized with the problems I had at home with this group, it's better for me to go on my own. For almost two decades, Joseph Niles was so dominant on the local music scene that whenever an event required a gospel act, he became the only automatic choice. In fact, the politicians even capitalized on his popularity by having him record a campaign song for one of the parties, the Democratic Labour Party, in 1971. The first party I sang for was the BLP, the very first. I was singing for the BLP. In other words, it's strange. My music is supposed to be heard even at a political meeting. So you may think, what is he doing there? But the truth is that you are not my conscience and you are not my God. I know that I belong there. Okay? Two years ago, I was called from New York to come to St. Kitts to sing for the present um, Prime Minister right now. He was, the not, he was the opposition at that time. I came down from St. Kitts and I sang for them. Of course, I was abused by the other party, but little did they know, they should have invited me and they would have come too. I would have come back the next twice. night for them. I would have come twice. You understand? But you see, they didn't know me. They figured I'm supporting somebody. I am not supporting nobody. I'm supporting the Gospels. For the evidence of the Niles mania hit the country when Joseph Niles was billed to perform at the Queen of the Bees, a pageant for homosexuals and transvestites. This Queen of the Bees show, I didn't know what it was. So when, like everything, when I was asked to come and sing for this concert, I said, fine, I'm there. But when I understand what, queens, when, what the queen of the bees meant, I said, no, I'm not going. So that, that is really the only time I ever, but I'll tell you this now. And I, I may be raising a problem, not for myself, but for maybe some of my friends. If you was having a dance, and you told me, Joseph, at 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to shut down the liquor bar. And I want you to come and sing for me at my dance. I will come. That's me. That's the way I see it. I see that the gospel can be and should be carried any place that it, it can go. And that's my conscience, and God never tell me not. So I'm telling you the, way, the things. So when I'm asked to do something, and I feel it can be a help, I know it can be a help to anybody. I do it. Would you sing now at a Queen of the Bees 1998 show? Depends on what the bees would be. If you mean... Uh, an, the an, type uh, of show it was then. No? Yes. Would you sing at one of those shows? Well, if I didn't sing then... You wouldn't, you wouldn't sing now? I wouldn't sing now. Some people go to church on Sundays Stand up and they shout But when they go to work on Monday They leave their Savior around have done their duty and to the blessed Lord been true but when they go to face the judgment they'll find they want their religion won't do you got to live your religion every day you got to live your religion every day you got to do it on a Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday, Sunday, you got to live your religion every day. Some people go to church on a Sunday, stand up and they shout. Now when they go to work on a Monday, Lord, you know they leave the Savior out. They think that they have done their duty, and do the blessed Lord in truth. But when they're going to face the judgment, the friend they want their religion will do. Hey, you got to live your religion every day. Live your religion every day. On a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You gotta live your religion every day.
Joseph Niles is of the opinion that it is nonsense to make an issue out of what he sings from what he doesn't. My, my first time into a particular Anglican church, and this is, I'm sure some of the folks listening or watching would know this because this happened in St. George, as far as, as close as I could come. And I went up to sing, and I was singing, and a guy could walk up to me and ask me, could you just, could you keep quiet while you sing? So at the end of the song, I stopped and paused and reminded them that it was in Joseph Niles they invited to the church. So if you invite Joseph Niles, you have to accept Joseph Niles. You can't even tell me what songs to sing. I decide what songs. Okay, if you want a special, if you want me to do a special request, fine. If you, if you hired me, you said, Joseph, I want you to sing. Make, make sure that you sing just a rose. I will do that. But you can't give me a list of songs and tell me these are the songs I want you to sing. Well, then you've got to pay me. I will have to charge you for singing each song because it's your request. <laughs> this song is for all those who don't know Christ. I think it's time you let Jesus into your life. Day after day, it's the same old thing. I know you ought to be fed up living in sin. You want to be free. You should serve Jesus Christ because He is nice. Now take it from me. This is good advice. Accept Jesus Christ. Accept Jesus Christ. Accept Jesus. Tonight is a night to fix up your life. Accept Jesus. Accept Jesus Christ. Accept Jesus Christ. Accept Jesus. Now take it from me. This is good advice. Christ, accept Jesus Christ. Accept Jesus. Tonight is the night to fix up your life. Accept Jesus. Accept Jesus Christ. Accept Jesus Christ. Accept Jesus. Now take it from me. This is good advice. Maybe you say you're fed up hearing preaching. People constantly saying that Jesus sin. So if you turn your back on you, walk away. Sing you will accept Jesus some other day. But for many people Ooh. that they just don't come. You see, you have no guarantee you'll still be around. The thing to do if you really smile is to let Jesus Christ come into your heart. Accept Jesus Christ, accept Jesus Christ. Accept Jesus. Tonight is the night to fix up your life. Christ, accept Jesus Christ. Accept Jesus. Tonight is the night to fix up your life. Accept Jesus. Accept Jesus Christ. Accept Jesus Christ. Accept Jesus. Now take it from me. This is good advice. Accept Jesus Christ. Accept Jesus Christ. The veteran artist is always insisting that whatever a person sings, they should stamp their own personality on the song, rather than try to rubber stamp the original performer. He is very upset at the lack of originality among Barbadian gospel singers, particularly those who want to sound like Americans or someone else. I would like the gospel singers, or any singer for that matter, to know that they should be a part. They should be a part of the song that they're singing. If you're singing a song, you, you should be it. You should be the singer. And you should have something to do with the song that you're singing. So that if you're going to sing a song that you hear with Houston sing, don't put your voice pitch with Houston. Don't sing the same melody. Don't, don't get the band to play the same chords down the line. It, it's, it's offensive. 
it's, it's funny. It's, it's out of character. I mean, you should be able to do better. And if you want to be a singer, even if it's a song you hear somebody sing before, you like it, let me hear how you would do it as an individual. Don't, you know, I sang a song called For It All. It was written by Andrea Crouch. It was a popular song. And if a, a band that knows Andrea Crouch's rhythm or his style play that song for me when they sing it, I can't get it to sing. It's off. Whenever they hit those chords, it throw me off because I can't sing it like that. I don't sing it like that. I have my way of singing it. I've had many tears of sorrow, questions for tomorrow. So many times I didn't know right from wrong. But in each situation, God gave blessed consolation. But my trials would only come to make me strong. Through it all. Naturally, Niles would have performed at numerous concerts over his 30-year career, but among his biggest would be when he represented Barbados at Cari Festa in Jamaica many years ago. Gospel Fest and the first ever world gospel in Barbados last year. But if he had his way, Joe Niles would sing primarily in small churches. For him, the atmosphere is warmer, more intimate, and the people are closer to you and more responsive. Maybe the impact of his early days singing throughout the length and breadth of Barbados in small churches, an experience on which his foundation was built, is so strong and lasting that he can't seem to get it out of his system. The old brigade of gospel artists can identify with this intimacy of singing in small churches and the feeling that you are part of the people and the people are part of you. This train is a holy train. This train is a holy train. Are you ready to take Jesus' name? This train, this train. Oh, why don't you swing down, sweet chariot, stop and let me ride. Swing down, sweet chariot, stop and let me ride. Joseph says he does not look forward to any earthly rewards, and although they don't come as frequently as would be expected for a person who has contributed so much to the art form in Barbados, the rewards do come. In October this year, Niles was among six Caribbean artists who were honored in Trinidad and Tobago for his outstanding contribution to gospel music. The award was presented by Glory Television. In Barbados, he has also received awards from the now defunct Gospel Music Association of Barbados and was inducted into the Emmanuel for Gospel Music Hall of Fame several years ago. No reward is too great for the human service put in by Joseph Niles, godfather of gospel music in Barbados and perhaps the Eastern Caribbean as well. This train is a holy train. This train is a holy train. Standing by the road with 
Oh, 